The TNT Warriors got nosed out of a share of the spoils when they battled Panama head-on for most of the match. But as Ruskin Mark explains, World Cup-bound Panama finally broke the deadlock in stoppage time to seal a 1-0 victory. Both teams were minus some key faces as this match fell outside of the official FIFA window, but both camps got a chance to blood some new faces for the route ahead. And the visitors got the first real look at goal when Carlos Small beat the offside trap, but Adrian Fonset did enough to knock the ball out of his control and danger was averted. Coach Dennis Lawrence immediately seen making some adjustments at the back after that ball from Jose Fajardo sprung small. TNT responded as Marcus Joseph used his pace to get to the byline and his hook back seemed to surprise Ryan Moore who couldn't control it and the chance was lost. Still, the New Look Warriors kept probing, only this time Hashim Asias blast sailed on him. Urged on by the 2,000 plus crowd now, Gianti stepped it up a gear and Cordell Cato got a sniff, but he tugged his snapshot wide of Jose Calderon's near post. Gianti would close out the half in the ascendancy, with Cato and others seeing daylight but had nothing to show for it. So by the time the halftime whistle sounded, it remained goalless, but good promise shown by both squads. Even more encouraging signs from the Warriors early in the second period, but again, the sharpness in front of goal was lacking, and Kevin Goddard failed to react positively to Asia's knock-on. Panama almost punished TNT, who had a man down, but the visitors played on, and the cross in the boxes headed down nicely by Fajardo, but Fonset had it covered, and still it remained goalless. It was end-to-end -end action now as TNT responded, but substitute Nicholas Dillon ducked out of this one, not fully aware of what was happening around him. And he obviously thought he had support beyond him when there was none and a great chance went a begging. Now it was Panama's turn to be wasteful as the ball fell invitingly to the feet of Francisco Palacio, but he snatched at the chance and he flashed the shot wide. He really should have done better from that range. But TNT would have their hearts broken in added on time, as substitute Jesus Gonzalez started a movement out wide to Oscar Villarreal, who controlled it after Curtis Gonzalez missed his interception attempt, and the return ball finds the streak in Gonzalez, who was on spot to finish off his initial play for the only goal of the game. It was a real dagger in the hearts of the TNT players and supporters, as the referee Rion Radix of Grenada blew off the match immediately on the restart to add to the disappointment as it ended one to nothing to Panama ending a string of clean sheets for the Warriors. Ruskin Mark, C Sports Extra. Coach Dennis Lawrence, while happy with certain aspects of the team's performance on the night, wasn't totally pleased with the overall performance and believes some players might have peaked already. As we can see in the middle of the park, we did not have that ambition or that know-how to try and receive the ball and play forward and try and, 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 and create things. So, as I said before, what we got tonight is a very good understanding of where the work needs to be done. And one of the most obvious things tonight is that technically our players need to improve. Because if we cannot receive the ball in quick time and play, then we will end up in problems. So, we got a clear indication of where the work needs to be done at this level. The positives was we had the opportunity to play against a, a, a World Cup bound team and to expose our players to this level of competition. That would be the positives um, I would take from tonight. But in general, I think overall I was disappointed with, with, with a lot of the things that happened tonight, in particular our technical ability.